Welcome back to another episode from Reef Drama. Today I'm going to go through an update on the saltwater mixing station and also my RODI unit uh, that's all out in the garage. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head out there now and, uh, and have a look, uh, go through some of the upgrades that I've made, uh, some of the changes that I've made and also some of the recommendations that, uh, that I think you guys need to make sure that you're doing with yours. You might as well learn from my mistakes uh, so that you don't have to make the same. So let's get into it. Now. Okay then guys, so I just thought I'd give you an update really uh, with my salt water mixing station and RODI unit. Um, so the couple of things that I've kind of learnt um, through the time of having it and also doing some upgrades, just thought I'd share that with you. Um, first of all, as you can see, we've still got the two brute bins. I've actually got the RO unit on at the moment, um, doing sort of uh, doing a fill in the tank, and you can see there that. We're still getting 280 parts per million coming from the tap. Once it goes through the unit before the DI resin, it's four parts per million, which is awesome. And then down here, this one tells me what it is after my DI, uh, which is currently now two. So once that gets to about four, three or four, I'll look to replace the DI resin again. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and turn it off just so as we can quieten it down a little bit Mark that off there So some of the upgrades that I've done then the actual RODI unit all came with white um, RO tubing so what I've done is I've replaced virtually all of it uh, With black for the waste pipe which you can see is just coming out over there and that goes up and out through the hole in the wall and into the water butt and um, the red is the water coming in from the supply tap and then the blue is uh, from the DI resin that then goes all the way down follow it through and it goes to a splitter which uh, goes into both tanks and I can turn either one on or off uh, as I please um, what I have also done is in the RO unit fitted a float now that is an absolute must the float is um, I have actually set the water to go into this one which is the salt water mixing um, container and as you can see no float turned it on when indoors was going to set the time I completely forgot and then came out and obviously it was uh, slightly flooded so I probably lost about 75 litres of water I think um, so that is a definite a definite upgrade if you haven't already got it you must get a float and um, the other one which is also excellent is the water PSI gauge um, so when this is on it actually goes up to around about 90 to 100 PSI um, it can also tell you when your sediment filter is kind of getting blocked up because that PSI pressure will reduce. Um, so what I've got here is the sediment filter in the first one, then it now goes into two carbons. Originally it was sediment, carbon and then another sediment, so I've got now two carbons going in there. That then goes up through into the two membranes at the top they're both 75 gallons per day membranes uh, and then from there through the pump and then obviously into the external di resin which i've also bought and added to this i may even add a second one and have another one above it um, to uh to sort of really fine tune down the 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 di resin hopefully that will make it last a little bit longer as well as you can see, try to sort of tidy up all the wiring as best as I can and all the um, tubing. We've got all the plugs marked uh, and uh, what you can see on the wall there is the salt water changing uh, tubing uh, and what I use when I actually do a salt water change um, as well as the pump which is just there and then also another bit of tubing up there but if you head over and have a look at my video that I've done on the new way that I do my salt water change you'll see all of that in action and um, the other thing that I've got here as well is a little mixing sort of section for the uh, remineralization of the RO water so once the RO water has been made 
um, I put some into that bowl. Uh, I then get the uh, ream in and a couple of scoops of that goes into there. The little wee pump goes in and then I leave that sort of mixing. Once that's mixed, um, I then just tip it back into the 25 litre container and then that goes in and that's my top up water. Um, but that's how I mix that. So I've tried to keep everything sort of all in the same area um, so that it's all as neat and tidy kind of as possible. But these upgrades that I've mentioned, uh, if you haven't already done them, you know, I think they're definitely a must. Certainly the float um, switch and also potentially the PSI gauge as well. Another thing I've done as well is I just sort of keep a record of when I've last replaced any filters uh, or the DI resin so that I know, you know, how long that's all lasting for. Um, and I've actually bought quite a few of the um, carbon ones that are up here uh, and I'm going to do the same with the sediment filter as well. I'm going to buy like five or ten in bulk of the sediment ones so they'll last an absolute fortune. So let's just come back, give you a bit of a full size overview of the area and uh, let me know what you think. As I say, so far it's working very well. Um, for me, haven't had any leaks from the units, but even if I do, um, there is that leak detector just down there. So that will pick up any leaks and then that will turn the actual unit off for me. Well, there we have it. So what do you think? That's my upgrades, that's my updates and everything that I've done with the salt water mixing station and the RODI unit. Um, hopefully you can take some uh, you know, pointers from that, maybe implement some of those that I've done to mine into your setup at home uh, and hopefully you know that's going to help yourself uh, as it has done with me. Um, the tank at the moment is all kind of waking up, uh, the lights are sort of slowly sort of ramping up you know to their uh, maximum uh, brightness, uh, the fox face is down there at the moment um, all camouflaged, he's hiding, don't think he really likes me standing here and uh, Pine is over the back, I think he's just sort of starting to wake up as well. Um, but uh, yeah, that was it. Hopefully maybe today we might even be able to get uh, a couple of new fish for the tank. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, not quite too sure yet. I don't even know what today is. I think it might be Thursday, so perhaps Friday or Saturday we you know, might get some new fish. Um, and then that will be on a different uh, video. But this one really is all about an update for the salt water mixing station and RODI unit. So if you have any comments, please put them in the comment section below. Uh, that's always helpful. I do always respond to everybody's uh, comments uh, personally. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button. As you know, that always helps us out when people subscribe. Uh, it lets me know that people are interested in what I'm doing uh, and this reefing community, uh, and it will keep me going um, you know, to, to upload and do more videos for yourself to watch. Um, so all I can say now is thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now. Is it coming? Is it going?